Hello and welcome to my very very first uh, tutorial. Um, for sure, obvious, obviously the first tutorial for the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 and also the very first tutorial in English, so uh, I'm so sorry if I say something that is not so understandable, <laughs> but I think uh, you will know in the end what I mean. Um, yeah, I want to give you a small tutorial about the latest um, SU3 update um, from the Microsoft Flight Simulator um, because I had horrendous frame drops. Uh, I only got about 20 to 30 FPS. Before the update I had nearly 50 FT uh, FPS and um, yeah. I'm here to show my way to um, to fix this problem. I did multiple things to achieve a smooth running simulator again um, and also in the end I could crank up my graphics settings a lot. And let's start with the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 cache removal tool. You will find the cache removal tool on flightsim.to and um, the link for this tool will be in the description. When you downloaded the file, you need to drag the file to your desktop and open it. So after you open the tool, um, the program or the tool will remove all the caches, the graphic caches that your PC has. So after it's done, it will write it, press any key to close this window. Press any key to close this window. For me, this was the most important step already. The next step, obviously, is to have your um, graphic cards, all the um, latest updates installed. So the next step on the list is we need for AMD users only, again, the AMD Adrenaline Edition. After you opened up the AMD Adrenaline Edition program, you will see this view. Be sure that you set your your performance setting of your PC to power and not on quality or whatever the other stuff is. Just set it to power, the power setting here on the left. On the right side we find updates and we click on the red button. Updates, a window pop up, yes we want to update. And now you will see all the things that needs an update. If there is an update like this, Shipset Driver, you need to install it. The latest update my Shipset Driver had was on the 2nd February 2024. So it's quite a, a long time ago. And just make sure that you download especially the Shipset Drivers. And that's mostly it. The fixes will be applied after your restart your PC. So yeah, that's basically it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I could help you a little bit um, to gain your performance back on your PC. And leave a like and a follow if you enjoyed the tutorial. Bye bye!